When someone passes, our emotions can take over in a way that seems uncontrollable. We even at times feel somber towards celebrities who we may have never met, but impacted us in some way. And when it comes to dealing with the loss of a close loved one, the experience of grief can be a struggle. Here to provide tools when triumphing over grief is UK-based psychotherapist and best-selling author of This Too Shall Pass. Julia Samuel is also a founder patron of Child Bereavement UK, a charity for which Prince William is a royal patron, and she also happens to be the godmother of Prince George, and she was a close friend of Prince Diana. Julia, thank you for joining us this morning. Lovely to be with you in such yeah. an important subject. Yeah, such an important subject. So please let us know about your charity and the role that Prince William has played in it. So Child Bereavement UK has been going for 27 years, and... It supports parents that have a child that dies and also children who are bereaved of a parent or a sibling. And since Prince William, or uh, well, he is the Prince of Wales now, um, has become patron, obviously it's raised awareness of the importance of bereaved children and uh, the needs of bereaved children. Because the thing kind of everyone watching will recognize is that all of us at some point in our lives will be bereaved and it is the support we get at the time of the loss and following the loss that predicts our outcome and for that people need to have awareness and understanding of what grief is and I think often you know the word death frightens people and people kind of tend to push away and not able to give you the support that you need so we're really trying to change the culture so that people do get the love and care that they need at such a difficult time. Yeah, especially because so many people experience this. You've talked about the different kinds of grief, not just due to death, but also infidelity, a change in relationship dynamics, or even helping our children understand loss. Why is it important to see the grieving process in these broader terms? It's what I call a living loss. I mean, you know, if you think about your own life or everyone watching, you know, the thing that is certain in life is change. And if we have the capacity to recognize how to manage change, as you say, whether it's losing a job or the end of a relationship or going through a pandemic yeah. where your life is turned upside down, if you recognize that this is painful and it's hard and you have the tools and the understandings to support yourself to weather the change, rather than kind of white knuckle against it, which makes it worse and harder to bear, then you can kind of expand and grow through the change and the loss rather than feel diminished and more kind of bitter. Yeah, and when we come to this point of recognizing these different forms of grief, often in our culture, we're encouraged to tough it out, but you discourage people from suppressing emotions. Explain why that's so important. So I, I actually talk about holding both, that we need to be able to, the pain is the agent of change, that our brain is a learning machine. In order to adjust to this new reality, whatever the loss is, we need to allow the emotions, because they're transmitters of information, to pass through our body so that we can be updated. But also we need support, and we need love and affection, and times to have a break from pain and then times to, like in your lovely film here, just be held and supported. So it's, you need both. You, love is strong medicine, but also you need to allow yourself to feel the pain. Yeah, and one of your pillars of grief is the idea of owning our grief and not being ashamed of it. Why is this such an empowering step? I think it's because Often when people are grieving, I think it very is very much the sort of American culture of kind of white knuckle it. We can, when we're in a lot of pain or we're struggling, we can feel ashamed that somehow we're failing and other people, everyone else has got it sorted, but I'm not doing this grief thing right. And what I hope to provide with the GriefWorks app is the sort of eight pillars of strength that are ways of supporting yourself, but also the tools that can help you manage the pain of it in a journal where you can write what you're feeling so that you have something that's on your phone, in your pocket 24 seven to support you at any time um, to help manage your day and your night. Yeah, and speaking of dealing with grief, you also have a book, This Too Shall Pass, Stories of Change, Crisis and Hopeful Beginnings. What do you want readers to take away from this book? 
I think I want them to take away both things that we are wired to change and the things that we do to block the change are the things that over time do us harm. Um, and that we need support, that emo we can't control our emotions, we can't control what happens to us, but we can uh, implement and give ourselves support for what does happen to us, which enables us to manage it much more effectively with much more, and actually learn to live and love again so that you can, you know, there's this idea of post-traumatic growth that through something difficult, it changes you, but that it doesn't always experience as a change that's worse, but a, a change that is, is feels like growth. Yeah, and Julia, for us, if we know somebody that's going through grief, how can we be helpful in that process for them? What can we do? I think one of the things is is not to kind of disappear on them, to show up and to be supportive, not just in the time of the crisis, but you know after the crisis for the long term. You could always tell them about the GriefWorks app, which, you know, is 95% cheaper than any therapy they'll get. And I think often giving people tools and supports yeah. is something tangible when we feel so powerless, when we feel like we can't, we can't make the person who's died come back, but maybe we can give the person who's bereaved something that can help them. Julia, all very helpful tips. Thank you for joining us this morning. For more information on the GriefWorks app, go to griefworkscourse.com.